Work has begun on a railway improvement project that is essential to the future economic development of Myanmar. Let's take a look at this very important project, which is aimed at making Myanmar a richer country. With an annual economic growth rate of 8%, Myanmar has continued to develop rapidly in recent years. In this country, there is one particular category of infrastructure that is widely expected to serve as a trigger for even greater economic growth. This is the railway network. The Yangon Mandalay Railway in particular is drawing a great deal of attention these days. The line connecting the cities of Yangon and Mandalay via the new national capital Naypyidaw runs through an economic corridor where approximately 70% of Myanmar's economic activity takes place. This railway will become a trigger for the further growth of the Myanmar economy. The reason for this is that as a consequence of the establishment of the AEC in 2015, the physical distribution of goods between Myanmar and its neighbors is set to increase dramatically. The railway, which directly connects Myanmar's capital of Naypyidaw with the country's two largest commercial cities, Yangon and Mandalay, is expected to play a huge role as the main artery supporting this new economic activity. However, the current state of this railway, which originally came into operation 130 years ago, is that the trains run on deformed rails. Many of the bridges sit on damaged piers. And the facilities are antiquated. As you can see, the entire railway has become decrepit. It is in a state of disrepair that makes it impossible for passengers to travel in comfort. <laughs> The Yangon Mandalay Railway Improvement Project was started in order to overcome these problems. The project will utilize yen loans to introduce Japan's superlative railway technology to Myanmar's railway network. The project's promoters are aiming to resolve a wide variety of problems that have long afflicted Myanmar's railways. The first significant change that will result from this railway improvement project relates to speed. Current rolling stock operates at a speed of approximately 50 km per hour at best. After this railway improvement project, the trains will be able to run at approximately 100 km per hour, which is double the current speed. For the time being, if the existing old trains and newly introduced trains were to depart from Yangon simultaneously at 6 a.m., the new trains would arrive in Mandalay eight hours later at 2 p.m. The existing trains would not arrive in Mandalay until much later at around 9 p.m., so the travel time between these two cities will be almost cut in half as a result of the railway improvement project. At this point, let's take a look at the main points of the present railway improvement project. The plan calls for the replacement of the existing old diesel locomotives and passenger carriages with the latest railway vehicles. In addition to being capable of much higher speeds, these new trains will save energy and emit lower levels of exhaust gases. The facilities inside the trains will be substantially improved as well. The present trains provide a bumpy ride and the seats are uncomfortable. These are the extremely quiet and comfortable new seats and the new toilets will be much cleaner and more sanitary compared with those on the present trains. The entire track will be rehabilitated, replacing the distorted rails with brand new ones. With this, the jolting movement of the moving carriages will be reduced substantially. In addition, by making the tracks higher, we will prevent problems such as damage due to rail submersion that occurs during the rainy season. Also, the railway signals will be replaced with modernized types. And the bridges that have damaged piers will be rehabilitated. Currently, railway crossings in Burma are manually closed each time a train approaches. 
In the interest of improving safety, this system will be replaced with the latest fully automatic crossing gates. A railway depot will be constructed in order to facilitate periodic checking and maintenance of the trains. In addition to providing these new facilities, the project will introduce maintenance and management technology from Japan and include a program for fostering human resources so that in the future the people of Myanmar will be able to maintain the railway by themselves. When the railway improvement project that we have just looked at is carried out, the Yangon Mandalay Railway will be reborn in a form that is appropriate for a major economic artery. However, operating the railway will continue to require close attention. After the railway is improved, the new trains will run at a speed of 100 km per hour. So if members of the public enter or try to cross the railway tracks, serious accidents may occur. Entering onto the railway tracks is extremely dangerous, and so unauthorized entry must be absolutely prevented at all times. Lastly, here is some information about the improvement section. The Yangon Mandalay Railway is a long railway with a total length of about 620 kilometers. It will be impossible to improve the entire railway at once, so for the present, only the Yangon Taungu section will be improved. The railway, which has been loved by many people for a long time as a familiar means of transport, will be reborn as a comfortable high-speed railway as a result of the Yangon Mandalay Railway Improvement Project. The improved railway will make a significant contribution to further economic growth and enrich the lives of the people of Myanmar.